Hello, and welcome back to another video of CalcNerd. So today's video is not actually going to be with my TI-83+, Plus. rather, it's going to be with my TI-30XS Multiview. And today, I'm going to be showing you how you can play tic-tac-toe on this calculator. It might seem kind of impossible, but it actually can be done. Uh, I do have a video of tic-tac-toe on my TI-83+, Plus. if you'd like to check that out. I'll have it up in the corner, um, so you can click right there if you'd like to see that. So, without further ado, let's show you how you can do this. Okay, so here we are with my TI-30XS Multiview, and uh, thank you to Daniel who commented on my Boom video uh, and taught me how to play tic-tac-toe on your TI-30XS Multiview. Um, so basically, it's a two-player game, and what you do is you use fractions, and don't worry, I will teach you how to do exactly what I'm doing in just a little bit. Um, so basically, you use the fractions, and then you can use zero for O, and then I'm just gonna go up just one, and you can use this button right here, which has all these variables, and the first one is like a fancy style X. So that's basically how you play it. Um, now I'm going to have a special guest uh, that will play some tic-tac-toe with me. So uh, yeah, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to now show you how to make this grid and how to move uh, fairly well and what icons I use. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, so what you do is you use the second button and then N over D. This is the most efficient way so far that I've found to do it. So you click second, N over D, which will give you U N over D. Second, N over D again, and then just a normal N over D. That'll get you three rows. And then you go to the bottom and then click N over D again. So as you can see, now I have my tic-tac-toe grid. So now that you have your tic-tac-toe grid, you might be wondering, okay, how do I move fairly well? So if you're at the top left over here, you can just use down and you can go to any square. Um, and to go throughout one fraction, uh, you can use the up and down. So if I'm also on this giant fraction here, I can use up and down to make, get to any of those. And if I want to travel between fractions, so let's say I want to go left from here, or right, excuse me, uh, I go to the bottom, and then I click the right arrow three times. Unless there is a character down here, so like an X or an O, then I have to click it four times. And if I want to go left, then I have to go to the top, which I'm at. So if I was here, I'd just go to the top, and then click the left button one, two, three times. And that is how you navigate fairly well. So if you click the zero, that will get you the O character that I was using. And if you click this button right here, uh, which is the variable button, you can get like X or Y or Z, whatever you want. Um, so that's a C right there. So I just use the X, so you just click it once to get the X. Um, and that's the variable that I was using for the X. Okay, so that is basically how you make and play tic-tac-toe on your TI-30XS. There's also another way that you can do this. You can use the data and use the lists to also play tic-tac-toe. So for example, I'm gonna put zero into the dimensions of the lists here. So I have three zeros there. Now I'm gonna do three zeros here. And um, so you're gonna use like one and twos uh, to uh, play this. So if you just set the table up like that, and this one's a lot easier to move through, so it's a different way that you can do it. Um, as you can see, it's a lot easier, so like someone could do a one there, and then, okay, I'll go here, or something like that. So you can do it that way as well. Uh, I find this way to be a little bit easier, but the other way is kind of interesting too. So, uh, now that you know how to play tic-tac-toe, I hope you do enjoy playing tic-tac-toe with some of your friends. Um, and a little bonus tip that I'm going to show you is how to generate a random integer on your TI-30XS Multiview. So you're gonna click the PRB button, you're gonna scroll over to the RAND tab and go to RAND INT. Now, if you want to generate something such as one to 10, then you would do one second uh, where the decimal is, and that'll give you a comma, and then do 10. And then click enter, and it will generate a random number between one and 10. 
Okay, so I'm going to click that again. I got 9 and 10 and then a 1 and then a 9, a 6 and a 4. And you can do that for pretty much infinite dimensions. So like if I wanted to do that again, go to random again. And then I do 1, comma, I don't know, let's do 100. And so you can play this game where you try to guess what number it's going to come up. Or you can use this uh, if you need to generate a random number. So now that you know how to play tic-tac-toe, I hope you do enjoy uh, playing tic-tac-toe. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Uh, it's a little bit different than uh, me normally using my TI-83+. Plus. Um, if you'd like some tutorials on how to use different calculators and do different stuff, I'd be happy to do that. So uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you do consider subscribing. Um, we just hit six, over 60 subs. Uh, so thank you guys for that. Um, I hope you have a great rest of your day. So uh, thank you for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.